This video has been specifically designed to visualize the proper manipulation of the Diasource 125 dihydroxyvitamin D ELISA assay in order to ensure good quality results. The Diasource 125 dihydroxyvitamin D ELISA assay is composed of two parts the kit box and the silica cartridges. The kit box is stored between 2 and 8 Celsius and the silica cartridges are stored at room temperature. The assay uses organic solvents. If the user has no access to high quality solvents, Diasource can supply an extraction kit that contains all the necessary solvents to perform the extraction step. On day one, Take the kit box out of the fridge and take all necessary reagents out of the box. This includes the controls, the calibrators, the microplate, the incubation buffer and the elution solution. Put the remaining reagents back in the fridge. Once at room temperature, rehydrate the controls and let them stand for about 20 minutes. During this period, prepare and label the glass tubes for the extraction for the separation wastes, for the water, for the elution, and prepare and label the silica cartridges. Prepare the extraction solution under the fume hood. Three milliliters are required per patient sample and control. Calculate the volume required and add 10% for security. Only use high quality solvents such as HPLC or for analysis grade. Measure the volume of each solvent in a graduated cylinder, taking into account the bottom of the meniscus. Transfer each solvent into an appropriate glass bottle, cap it and gently mix the solution. Vortex now the controls and the patient samples. In the extraction glass tubes, pipette 500 microliters of patient sample or control and add 2 milliliters of the extraction solution. As the extraction solution is composed of organic solvents, the pipette tip must be pre-saturated two or three times with the solution to ensure an accurate volume. Cap the extraction tubes and place them in the appropriate shaker rack by filling the middle of the rack. Secure the tube caps with tape and start the shaking at 1200 RPM. A lower or a higher shaking speed will result in inefficient extraction or in inseparable emulsion. 125 dihydroxyvitamin D and other molecules soluble in the organic phase are being extracted from the sample. During the one hour shaking, prepare the washing solvent by adding 1% high quality ethanol into the remaining volume of the extraction solution. Pre-saturate the tip to ensure an accurate volume. Transfer the extraction tubes into the centrifuge racks and centrifuge for 5 minutes at 800 G. Respect carefully the 800 G during all the centrifugation steps of the protocol. Place the silica cartridges into the waste tubes and transfer 800 microliters of the upper organic phase into the cartridges. Slowly pre-saturate the tips two or three times and pay attention not to disturb the phase separation. Alternatively, the whole organic phase can be transferred first into another tube to facilitate the pre-saturation and the pipetting steps. Let draw by gravity during five to 10 minutes. Add the remaining 800 microliters by taking the same pipetting precautions. Let draw by gravity during five to 10 minutes. Move to the next step when there is no visible liquid on top of the silica. Wait a few more minutes in case of any doubt. 125 dihydroxyvitamin D and some other similar molecules are retained on the silica phase. Add one milliliter of the washing solvent during the pre-saturation technique. Let draw by gravity during 10 to 15 minutes. Move to the next step 
when there is no visible liquid on top of the silica. Wait a few more minutes in case of any doubt. Potentially interfering molecules are washed away from the silica phase. Add 500 microliters of high quality dichloromethane using the pre saturation technique. Let draw by gravity during about 5 minutes. Move to the next step when there is no visible liquid on top of the silica. Wait a few more minutes in case of any doubt. Other potentially interfering molecules are washed away from the silica phase. During this elution, rehydrate the calibrators. Carefully remove the calibrator stoppers in case of the presence of volatile powder. Slowly add water to avoid expulsion of the volatile powder. Let them stand. Transfer the cartridges into the water tubes. Add 500 microliters of water and centrifuge the tubes for 5 minutes. Remaining traces of organic solvent are washed away from the silica phase. On the bench, transfer the cartridges into the elution tubes. Add the elution solution using the pre-saturation technique and centrifuge the tubes for 5 minutes. 125-dihydroxyvitamin D is eluted from the silica phase. Discard the cartridges and vortex the calibrators. Add the incubation buffer into the microplate then add the calibrators and the eluted 125-dihydroxyvitamin D using the pre-saturation technique. Cover the microplate using the appropriate plate adhesive strip and place the microplate into the fridge for the night. On day two, take the kit box out of the fridge and take all remaining reagents out of the box. Directly prepare the working HRP conjugate in a glass vial and let it stand for one hour. Prepare the wash solution during this period. After one hour, wash the microplate, vortex the working HRP conjugate and add it into the microplate. Cover the microplate and place it into the fridge for one hour. Wash the microplate and add the TMB into the microplate. Incubate at room temperature without shaking for 15 minutes. Add the stop and read the optical densities. Calculate the results, ideally using a four-parameter logistic function curve fitting.